Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're debating between Docker and Proxmox, you're probably setting up a dev environment or a home lab, and you're trying to decide how to manage your apps or virtual machines. These two tools serve different purposes, so let's quickly break down which one fits your case better. And I will divide this video into certain areas, and first I'm going to talk about a platform overview, pricing and costs, and more. So let's not wait any longer and dive into this video, starting off with a platform overview of Docker. Docker is launched in 2013 and is a platform for building, shipping and running containers, lightweight, portable units that package your app and its dependencies. It's perfect for developers who want isolated environments without the overhead of full VMs. Proxmox, on the other hand, is first released in 2008 and is a virtualization management platform that lets you run full virtual machines and containers side by side. It's built for system administrators who want full control over their hardware, including storage, networking, and backups. And let's take a look at the pricing and the costs. While Docker is free and open source for individual use, with paid tiers for enterprise features and team collaboration. So as you can see, the Docker personal plan is the free plan, and in here you will have Docker Desktop, Docker Engine plus Kubernetes, and Docker Hub and Docker Scout. And as I already told you, you can only use this plan on one user. That's the same for the Docker Pro plan, also for one user, but in here you will have more than any free plan and you will have a Docker build cloud and basically more cloud features in general. And you will have more unlimited Docker Hub pull rates and basically stuff like that. And if you're upgrading to the team plan, that is just a small increase in price, then you have access to up to 100 users. And when you want the Docker business, you will have unlimited users. And now let's take a look at the pricing of Proxmox. Proxmox has different plans and you can find them under products on their website. You have Proxmox Virtual Environment, Backup Server and Mail Gateway. And when you click on pricing down below, you will see the pricing of this plan. Proxmox is often free to use with optional subscriptions for support and access to enterprise grade update repositories. And upgrades in your plans are basically based on volume and increasing of that volume. But now let's take a look at the features and the tools. Docker runs isolated containers that start instantly, use minimal resources, and are ideal for deploying microservices or apps in CI CD pipeline. Procmox gives you a web based dashboard to manage VMS via KVM, LXC containers, ZFS storage, snapshots, backups, and clustering. It's ideal for full server infrastructure and resource isolation at the hardware level. And now let's make a final verdict between the two. I would say use Docker if you're a developer deploying apps in lightweight environments or building a microservices architecture and choose Proxmox if you want to run full virtual machines or containers with full system level isolation and need to manage your own virtualized server environment. And let me know what you're planning to build with. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing and then I will see you in the next one.